hopefully we have internet connection. Hey, hey, so this is day one, <laughs> Family Fitness Fest, so we have a couple fun things planned, and uh, I got the kid coach here to help me, so if you're joining in with your family, fabulous, because this is definitely um, a buddy kind of a workout. What I did try to do was create workouts that require no equipment at all. And um, if we do use equipment, I will try to give you some recommendations for stuff to do without the equipment. We're gonna get rocking. So one way to really boost um, our immunity, do you know what immunity is? What, what does your immune system do? Makes you use the bathroom. That's your digestive system, but great guess. Uh, right now. Your mouth? Well, right? yeah. No, your immune system is what mouth? keeps you strong and protects you from getting sick. Heart? Your immune system is what protects you from getting sick. Oh, uh, yeah. I just said. No, but that's a good guess. We'll take that. Okay, so since we want to make sure that we stay strong and protect from getting sick, we want to strengthen our muscles, we want to get a little bit of a sweat, and we want to stretch, and we want to work together. <laughs> um, so we are going to get right into this. So the thing is, we don't want to do too much really strenuous activity because that can start to actually compromise the immune system. So we're going to do some things that are just fun and Grandma always said, laughter is the best medicine, that's true. So we're actually not going to use equipment because not everybody has equipment. So we're going to get really creative and we're going to use each other as equipment. What? So we're going to put those down and let's get our awesome warm-up in. So first we're going to do for our warm-up is good old jumping jacks. So you ready, kid coach? Let's do it. We got 30 jumping jacks. You guys can follow right along and we're going to get right into it. You ready? Are you going to count or am I going to count? You're going to count. Okay, ready? And one. Going. So about eight times each. 
Good to focus on the breath as well. And now we're going to move the body again. So we're going to run in place and we're going to get us on the clock. we got 30 seconds. You ready? Could kick coach, just kick this one off. Here we go. 30 seconds. On your mark. Get set. And go. Put your hands right here. 
and you're gonna shuffle your feet side to side, and we're on the clock. Get it. Booyah. And we're gonna go as fast as we can. So now, if you have a parent, you gotta coach your kid, you gotta cheer them on. Come on, Kaylee Bell. You got it, sister. Come on, work it out. Don't stop, don't stop. It's a competition. You gotta show the other kids how fast you are. I know those other kids are working hard too. Come on, sweat it out. Here we go. More than halfway, 10 seconds. Rock it. You look fabulous. Woohoo! For five, four, three, two, one. Booyah! All right, now come alongside next to me since you're already down. We're gonna go right into 10 push ups. Now we don't do modified push ups here. Well, I'll come over here by the we do. We do the real so deal. Do over here. Sure, thanks. We do the real deal here. So if you are struggling to do push ups, can simply take the push-up up onto the wall and do a modified version, which will show you like a second. This. Okay. Or you can do it, yep, kid can do it next to parent, perfect, but you can do that next to the wall. That's a beautiful modified push-up, but we don't do modified push-ups. Ready? Ten reps. Here we go. Boom. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so now we are going to focus on abdominal strength. No, nope, we're doing, I said no equipment because not everybody has equipment like you do. Okay, so now we're going to work on the abdominal strength a little bit and um, everything comes back to your navel. This is, this is key to everything. This is your life. Yep, yep, you have abdominal muscles, but it's also where your sacral chakra is, your solar plexus chakra. This is where your creativity lies. This is where your um, ability to express yourself and be confident and feel good lies. Like this my dad's super strong, so he has big abs. Your dad does have big abs. And this is really the seat of your soul. So we want to make sure we're connected to the trillion points of light that you have in your good old abs. We get to love on the belly. So, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna do back into our push-up position. And from this position, you're going to bring your knee toward your opposite elbow. And then back to center. So Kaylee, they need you to show them what I'm doing as well. So we got 10 on each side. So knee to opposite elbow. And as you pull that knee across, you're pulling your belly button in and just getting in touch with how that abdominal wall works. But below that, tap into all of the strength and all of the creativity and all of the joy and all of the power that you hold in your navel point. It's, again, the seat of your soul. We got five more each side. Four, and you should be feeling a little burn. Three, but you should also be feeling super inspired, super good about yourself. Because who doesn't like to create and use their imagination, right, Kaylee? Mm -hmm. One more each side. Boom and boom. All right, now we're going to flip over on our backs. Still working with the ass. I forgot some of my secrets. Sit up. Close. So you're gonna come down, feet are gonna go up to 90-ish degrees. I don't really oh, believe that anything is the right angle though. So you just wanna come up until you feel like you can keep your legs as straight as possible. Hands can be down at your sides or underneath your tushy if you need a little bit of extra back support, that's totally cool. And from this position, you're gonna lower right leg down about just a couple inches off the ground and then back up. The kids really need you to set an example, babe. They can't stay. Okay. And down and back up. So your butt stays, your butt stays on the ground. Oh, wait, that's hard for me to do. Your butt stays on the ground, and you're going to lower right leg down toward the ground. Come on up. Nice and slow, and then switch legs. And we're doing 10 on each side. I'm on my fifth for my right. This is three. And four. And again, just taking an opportunity to really connect.
connect with the force and the unique power like Star Wars? that is yours, that is in your navel point. Like in Star Wars? Absolutely. May the force be with you. But it all comes from the belly. And the belly houses your intestines, and your intestines are directly linked to your immune health. So your body has this beautiful, natural, antiviral mechanism. I know I'm saying a lot of big words here. But all the antiviral medicine you need actually lives inside your belly. How cool is that? Are we done? Almost. Is it burning? Yeah, baby. No, it's not. One more each side. Yeah, baby. It's not burning. Oh, okay. I'm and fine. cool. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug and just roll around on the spine a bit. Oh, yeah. So good. So good. All right. Now we're going to come up. And we got a bunny system thing going. So we are going to have a little fun now. Not that we weren't before. So Kaylee and I are going to stand facing each other. And we're going to do tag team lunges. What? So hands are going to go up. So a little bit of thinking never hurt, especially if we're not in school. And we're going to, so I am going to, no, 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 stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Let go for a second. Just hold your hands up. I am going to patty cake you, and then I'm going to step back into a right lunge, and then I'm going to, then you're going to patty cake me and step back into a right lunge, and then we're going to switch. So ready? Ready? Okay, mine. Hold your hands up. <laughs> Hold your hands up. I'm not a mine. Hold your hands up a little higher because I'm taller than you. I'm not a mine. Boom. Mom. A mom mine. <laughs> mine. So we're going to go. Right lunge, and then patty cake, right lunge. Come on up, and then I patty cake, left lunge. Patty cake, left lunge. Come on, we got, we got work to do, let's go. We gotta get a rhythm going. Come on, you forgot to patty cake. So we patty cake in between each one. Patty cake, go. We come up, patty cake, right. Patty cake, right for you. Right? See, this is why we have to think a little bit. Patty cake, right? I did. Okay, patty cake. Left. Patty cake, left. Patty cake, right. Patty cake, right. Go right. You did it. No, you didn't. You got to go with the pattern. There's a reason for it. Patty cake, whoops, left. Patty cake, left. Patty cake, right. Patty cake. No, patty cake. Oh. Patty cake. <laughs> right? Stop yelling at me. Patty cake. Left. Patty cake. Left. Patty cake. Right. Patty cake. Right. Patty cake. Left. Patty cake. <laughs> left. Come on, one more each side. Patty cake, right? Patty cake, right? Patty cake, left? Patty cake, left? Okay, so that was kind of tough, right? We had to think oh, while we were doing exercise. It's like paying attention. It's like paying attention, imagine that. So when you have to put your mind to work while you're doing big muscle activity, you're getting your gross motor skills and your fine motor skills and your brain has to coordinate using a lot of brain power means you are actually regulating the nervous system which again is super super important so we want to do things that use our brains as well as our bodies and that's really really key okay so ready for squat jumps oh yeah so we're going to do squat jumps a little different we're going to do them like frogs you ready can we do leap frog yeah okay so 12 reps, we're going to touch the ground and jump up. Ready? Can I, can I do that on you? No, do it right in front of me. Do it right in front of me. Do it right in front of me. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Take a deep breath. All right, so now 
we're going to sit down, and if you've got your kid partner, and I'll get the kid coach here, you're going to sit down, crisscross applesauce, and you're going to line your backs up together. So turn around so that your back is facing my back, and we line our spines up together. Okay, so lock them in. No, 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 don't, don't push on me. So you want to sit up nice and tall. And you're going to bring your hands into prayer position. Like this? Yeah, and then no, nope. and then you're going to take your thumbs and lock them right in at your heart. So you press them on your heart a little bit. And then you're going to have your kid lean back and you bow forward. So lean, bow, and then up, and then same thing. And then come up. <laughs> Lots of giggles here. Not as much praying, but giggling. But what we want to do is we want to set an intention to send healing energy to the planet right now. So every time you bow, you're going to extend outward. So now you bow, Kaylee, bow. Extend outward, extend outward all your love and healing energy. And when you're up in the air, you're receiving healing and loving energy. So now you come up, and now I bow, and I'm sending, can you stop because you're actually hurting me a little bit. So kids, oh, sorry. Note, note at home, okay? This exercise has to be done very carefully because we're using each other's collective energy. So you've got a lot of energy and I've got a lot of energy. And we want to learn to work together. And that's the point of this exercise, that our spines and our bodies are actually communicating with each other. And we are a team, okay? So that means calming down and listening to each other's bodies, right? So as you slightly press against me, I easily bow forward to let you come up and receive all that healing energy from the planet, from Mother Earth, and I am sending out loving energy to share with the planet and humanity. And then I breathe in, and now I am going to slowly lean back as you come forward, so we're coordinating. Come forward into a bow, Kaylee. Come forward into a bow. And now you are going to send your loving energy out, right? And Mama gets to receive it. And now you get to come up. And it's all about give and receive. Give and receive. So I'm sending my love out. And you're taking the opportunity to, to receive it, right? Mm -hmm. Breathe in. We're going to do one more. So now we're going to communicate with each other. I'm coming up. And you're going to bow forward and give. Bow forward. Bow forward. I, I did. Bow forward. Bow all the way forward. <laughs> and I receive. And you give. And then all the way up. And then come back to center. And now we're just going to evenly press. So kids at home with moms or dads. Feel the pressure of each other's spines. You want to get to a place where, Kaylee, so you're going to lean on me and I'm going to lean on you so that we're evenly supported. Okay? Where you're not pressing against me. Keep your tushy down. Eyes are closed. And start to feel the heat and the energy and the magnetism of the other person's aura, the other person's body. You're going to take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to person. You're going to love the other person. So you can lean against me a little bit more because you feel how I'm kind of pushing against you. So sit up a little straighter. Give mommy some support. Right? Moms need support just as much as kids do. So how can you be a support to mom right now as she's supporting you and the planet? So you're kind of letting me go, right? So you have to sit up and let me lean against you. Right? Moms need their kids to be strong just as much as kids need their moms to be strong. So I'd love a little bit more support here, Kaylee. Can you lean up against me more? And give me, oh, that's wonderful. That feels so amazing. And now let's take a big inhale together. And an exhale. And now let's turn around and face each other. And open the legs, open the legs. So this is all about just stretching and again, working together and getting receiving. This is part of fitness. So you can scoot your tushy back so that your legs are a little bit straighter and then you're gonna clasp hands, clasp hands. Okay, so kids and moms, if your kids can touch feet with feet, if they can, just do the best you can.
and now again, I'm going to exhale and reach forward and you're going to gently pull me forward as you inhale. So ready? <laughs> and then we're going to do the opposite. Now you exhale and I inhale. And then switch. So what we want to try to do is we're creating like a locomotive train and we're building energy between us. We're building love energy between us. So it's like a train. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. So we're going to start to increase the breath. Standard time. So much love, so much light, so much healing energy going your way. 